Hi, it's Tracy. G'day, and that's Elsie, and welcome to our global travels, where one and a half of us are going to show you how to have a great time anywhere in the world. Lots of food, adventures, fun things to see and do. Trains, planes, and automobiles, whatever it is, we're going to have a go. So make sure you subscribe to our series. Have a great one. Bye. Childhood memory coming true today. We're at the Shungshai Temple, known as the Shaolin Temple, where Kung Fu originally started, along with Buddhism here in China. It's going to be fantastic to see, but this is the entrance. They warned me it was going to be cold. I've had to steal Leanne's beanie here to get my ears warm, so let's see how we go. We're just on our way to the temple now and uh, we've just been told some information that the Kung Fu school here at the temple, there's two sites, there's an old site and a new site, and it has over 30,000 students. Just imagine that, like back in Australia, we think a big school back in Australia has two and a half to 3,000, but the school here, the Kung Fu school here, has more than 30,000 students. That is huge. The mounds out here at the Shaolin Temple are absolutely amazing. Look at that. They just surround this whole place. It's so very, very peaceful out here. Well, look at this. This is the map and our ticket entry into the Shaolin Temple. This is going to be an incredible experience. Kung Fu has always been an interest to John and myself. We love all sorts of fighting and this is such an awesome experience that we're going to um, experience today. And also about the Buddhism as well. It's fresh. It's very fresh. I know. And the faster you go, the colder, the colder it is. It is. <laughs> wow, look at the mountains all around us. It's gorgeous, right? It's so great. So good. So good to be what I come to. Wow, check this building out. This is in original condition. Isn't that just amazing? This is the Shaolin Temple where the actual movie was made with uh, Jet Li in it on the, about the Shaolin Temple. But hey, so see this temple behind me? There was a monk that lived here in this temple for nine years. He never left. And then there was a, a, another monk that come up and um, he wanted to practice like Kung Fu and they said, no, you can't do that until it snows from the heaven above. So this one monk that lived inside for nine years stay in there and this other monk stayed outside and waited and wanted to practice Kung Fu. So he waited and waited and waited. Then one day the snowfall. So what he did then was cut off his uh, left arm and he walked in circles around this temple and made the snow red. And now that is why some monks only have one arm for blessing. They have one arm instead of praying with two. They pray with one arm in memory of what had happened here at this temple. So in this temple is the only place that the Buddhist and the Kung Fu people will come together. Behind me, those of you that like Jet Li, this is where he fought in the movies. So where they dive up and they come down, this is the place it all happened. Absolutely incredible. It's the resting place of the monks. There's only the highest of the 200 of monks that are uh, entombed here in what they call a pagoda. This pot is 600 years old. 
Now this is one of the smallest pots that they used for cooking. There is um, a much larger pot to feed the thousands of monks that, that um, eat out of this. Isn't that insane? Like this is just a tiny one. And from the Ming Dynasty it has it has come from. I don't know about you, but for me, this is actually massive in my life to be able to do this. Here I am standing at the mountain gate of the Shaolin Temple. Now, I mean, this is where Kung Fu started. And I'm a huge and massive Kung Fu fan. Bruce Lee was one of my idols, Jackie Chan, you know, Chuck Norris, all those guys, all in the martial arts. But this is the Shaolin Temple. I'm standing out right now. I can't believe that I'm actually here. If you could see the hair on the back of my neck, it would be standing up big time. Wow, what a moment in my life. Out of Junk Joe. Now, the name of the restaurant is called the Special Flavor Village Restaurant, and they specialize in lamb ribs. And I've got to tell you, I had pork belly, lamb ribs, of course, the normal steamed rice, and it was absolutely beautiful, beautiful food. But I'm telling you now, this place is so big. I'll see if I can get a video of the, how the waitresses and waiters get around. Check it out. They go so fast. They carry the food all around the place on this little segway. How does not a mess on the floor? I oh, won't know. See you soon. I'm actually found a blind massage person. Now that's a big thing here in Juncho. There's blind people that actually do massages and they go by feels so they can really feel where the knots in your body are. So guess what? I'm here to do it. I will let you know how it goes. Well, I've walked back to the unit now after my massage with a blind man. Now, let me tell you, I was really hesitant to start with because I'm thinking, oh, I don't know. I've read a bit about it, but I'm not sure. But this guy was recommended to me. So I go over there today and found the, the place where he was working. It cost me $20 Australian money, about 100 RMB or yuan and amazing this guy because they're blind the whole theory behind it is is that they feel through their fingertips so when he felt a knot he just stayed there and got rid of the knot in your shoulder or neck or wherever it may be so they really concentrate on getting the relief for you which is amazing look i highly recommend it if you're coming over here to Zhenzhou or anywhere in china have a look and see if they do blind massaging because it's um it's top notch. Well, we've hoped you've enjoyed that video. Make sure you click subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we post. Tune in on all my social media and I'll see you there. Cheers.